Now, we also want to talk about sign conventions and Kirchhoff's current law, or KCL, because again, this is something that can cause confusion if you're not careful. So KCL formally states that the sum of currents entering a node must be zero. And again, if say we have a node like this with I1 entering and I2 and I3 leaving, then you can look in that and just write the equation I1 has to equal I2 plus I3. More formally, we define currents entering the node as positive and currents leaving the node as negative, then you would write that as I1 minus I2 minus I3 equals zero. But again, those equations are the same thing. It's just flipping terms to one side or the other. So if I have I1 equals two amps and I2 equals one amp, then it's obvious that I3 also equals one amp. Where you have to be careful, again, is say you were just assigning directions for currents and voltages in your circuit, and say one of these got reversed. I2, say you had defined I3 as positive coming in like that. So now if you write KCL for that node, you have I1 minus I2 plus I3 equals zero. If you still have I1 equals 2 amps and I2 equals 1 amp, when you plug that in, them into that equation, you're going to get 2 minus 1 plus I3 equals 0. So you'll wind up getting I3 equals negative 1 amp. And again, that just means that the sign or the direction you initially picked for I3 is wrong. And it turns out that you actually have a current of one amp flowing out of the node instead of in. And then the other place you might commonly see this come up is if you wind up with a node where you just have assigned all of the currents coming in or all of the currents going out. And if you somehow wind up in that situation, that's okay. It just means that at least one of those currents is going to wind up being negative because you can't have charge accumulating or in a node or a node acting as a source of charge. Charge into and out of the node has to be balanced, but no charge stays there. So again, that might seem simple, but it can trip you up on an exam problem if you're not careful with your minus signs and your directions.